everyone, it's Christy. I just wanted to jump on here and share what I've been reading in Judges 6, 7, and 8. And it talks about the Israelites were doing evil in God's eyes. And so God handed them over to the Minyanites. The Minions is what it's what they're called, but the Minyanites. And so it says that the Israelites were so oppressed that they cried out to God because the Minyanites were taking their food, just being horrible, just horrible people to them. And so God heard their cries. Um, and God sent a prophet and the prophet said, you know, God freed you from Egypt, freed you from slavery um, and then, you know, part of the Red Sea brought you to this land, gave you this land, and now you're not doing what he asked. He had asked you, he said, I am God, do not worship any other gods, um, any little gods, you know, and they, and God said, but you're not listening to me. And so then, um, the angel of the Lord came to Gideon. And at the time, Gideon was um, pressing, thrashing wheat in the wine press. And, you know, that doesn't even make sense that someone would be doing that, thrashing wheat in the wine press. But he had to do that to, like, get food for his, for his people. And so the Lord said, Gideon, you are a mighty warrior. And, and I'm with you. And Gideon's like, if you're with us, then why are we going through this torment? Why are we going through everything that we're going through this hard time? And, you know, my ancestor said, you know, about freeing, uh, them being freed from slavery and then, you know, going through the Red Sea and then getting this land. But now we're back basically where we were. You know, we have these people oppressing us, you know, you know, how is this possible? And the Lord said, go in my strength and save the Israels out of the Minions hands. And I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sending you. So you're going to be okay. Basically is what God was saying. I'm sending you. Gideon said, you know, if this is really you, God, I need, I need a sign. And so he said, you know, uh, here's a wool. If the wool's all wet and the dry and the ground's dry, I'll believe it's you. Then that happened and got, and Gideon said, just one more time, God, I just need to know for sure before I go against the people that are oppressing me that, that it's really you. So he said, if the wool is dry and the ground is wet, then I'll believe you. So then then next day it happened. And so Gideon knew it was from God. So then he said, Lord, but, but my clan is the weakest of, of Israel. And the Lord said, I will be with you. You will strike down all the Minyanites. And Gideon says, if I have found favor with you, Lord, in your eyes, please stay here and I will bring an offering. So God waited. The Lord waited. And Gideon brought back the mill and then he put it on the rock. And the angel of the Lord touched the rock and the fire flared up. And then the angel disappeared. The angel of the Lord disappeared. And then Gideon realized he was actually talking to the Lord. And, and he got kind of scared. And, and the Lord said, peace, do not be afraid. You aren't going to die. And then, so Gideon had built an altar for that and called it the Lord of Peace. So then Gideon and his men were in camp getting ready to fight and the lord said i cannot deliver 
the minions into your hands, or the Israels will boast against me. The Lord says, anyone who is scared or fearful, tell them to leave. So Gideon gets up and said, if anyone's scared, if anyone's worried, you can go. So 72,000 men left. So then there was 10,000 men remaining. But the Lord said, nope, nope, too many men. So he said, go down to the water. Any man that cups the, the water and, and licks the water like a dog, then those are the men that stays. And so then Gideon's like, okay. So they went down to the water and then there was only 300 men that had done it. So they stayed. So then in the middle of the night, God woke Gideon up. And so Gideon and, and so one of his um, servants went down to, to the enemy's camp. And they overheard some soldiers talking. And the soldier says, I had a dream that a round loaf of barley bread came tumbling into the many nights camp and hit the tent and it collapsed. And then his friends said, God has given the Mennonites to Gideon's hands. So they knew the Lord was telling them, you guys are going to lose. And then, so Gideon went back up and woke everyone up and said, get up, let's go. And so then he divided the 300 men into three groups. And he said, he placed trumpets and empty jars in the hands of everybody and torches. And he said, watch me and do exactly as I do. When the group blows our trumpets, blow yours and for, and say for the Lord and for Gideon. The Minyanites ran crying out as they fled. When the trumpets sounded, the Lord caused the Minyanites to turn on themselves. And, and there's more to the story, but I wanted to end there. And I, I feel like that, here's my feeling about that. I feel like that's what's going on right now. I'm just going to say it. I feel like, you know, that, that is what's going on right now. And I feel like sometimes that this is happening to Trump. And, and, and Trump is Gideon. I mean, that's, I mean, that's why I feel like the Lord's telling me and that there's all these people against them. I mean, we've seen that in the past couple of weeks that people have turned on him. People have, people he trusted and, you know, and, and we are the Israelites crying out to God to, um, to help us. And I believe that he is. And, you know, I don't know if Biden's going to be officially in the office in two days. I don't know. That is, I'm praying for God's will and, and nothing else. Um, if that's God's will, then that's what God's will is. But I feel like the Lord led me to judges. I've never really read judges. I mean, I've heard the Gideon story, but I just feel like right now in our world, there's so much craziness going on really is the only word I can think of but here's the thing whether Biden gets in or God has this amazing miracle about to happen I mean whatever God's will I'm okay with I'm going to be okay with God's will because he knows what's best for us right and so you know Gideon trusted him and so the whole thing and that I got out of it is to trust God, to listen to God, to do what God says, and to just trust him. I mean, 300 people against probably, I don't know, 100,000 people, 200, I don't even know how many, I don't even know if it said how many people were in, in the other armies, um, but... Gideon did it. 300. They blew trumpets. The trumpets. You know. And and God said do this. And he did it. Because it was. 
God, I feel always, you always have to, to show God that, you know, you trust him. He went and he blew a trumpet and he won the battle. And that's just amazing. So just try to remember that whatever happens, God's in control. And to trust him because he's always going to take care of his people. Always. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask you to protect us. I ask for a circle of protection around us. And Lord, be with us in the next days and weeks and months ahead. I'm just asking for your will. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our kingdom come. Thy will be done. And Lord, you are just, just so grateful. I mean, you are just so, I'm just so grateful for you. I should say that your grace and your love is enough. Lord, you're our king. And it's in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Everyone have a good night.